In this ThingWorks tutorial, we will review how to use a ThingWorks workflow service to supply results to a ThingWorks mashup. To demonstrate this, we will build a mashup and a workflow that will be used to search for parts in a Winchell system. To start, we first need to define a data shape that will represent the part attributes that will be displayed in the mashup. Select the add action next to a data shape. Give it a name. Select on field definition and add the part attributes. Type, number, name, version, state. And last modified. Click Save to finish that. Next, we're going to create a thing that will contain our workflow service. Click Add, give it a name, for the template. Just select generic thing, save this, go to services, click add workflow, give the workflow a name, under inputs, we're going to add an input, it's going to be a part name input. For the output, we're going to select info table. This will contain our, this will hold the results from our part query. For the data shape, we're going to select part attributes. Next, we're going to define the workflow. Search for Winchell actions and select get properties. Next, search for ThingWorks actions and select define info table. Connect these together. Next, we're going to define our get properties action by double clicking on it. Select the Winchell connection. You can test this. For the find by, we're going to select query. For entity type, we're going to use parts. And then for our filter clause, we're going to use name. For the condition, select contains. And then for the value, we're going to bind in the input parameter part name. Select done. Next, we're going to define the info table action. Select your ThingWorks connection. For the data shape, we're going to use the part attributes data shape we just created. So now we're going to map in our results from the get properties action. For the collection, we're going to use the part array. And now we're going to bind the part attributes to the corresponding info table attribute. For the state, this has two parameters that are not displayed, but we want to use the display property of state. Click done. Now for the output, we're gonna click on the stop action. And in the data field, we're going to bind in the results of the define info table action. Click done. 
click Save and Continue on your service. You can click Done to complete that, and then click Save on your thing. Next, we're going to define a new mashup. Make it a static. Give it a name. Click on design. First, we're going to add a field set. This is basically a container that will wrap around all of our widgets for our search client. Let's add a text box for the part name input field. Let's add a label for the text box. We need a button to initiate the search. And we need a grid to display our results. Let's change the label text to name. Change the button label to search. Okay, so now we need to map in our workflow service. We need to search for and add our service to the data table. So now we can, now that this is mapped, we can now utilize this service for our mashup. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map the text box to the input parameter part name. Next, I'm going to map the button click to initiate the query parts, which is our workflow. And then I'm going to map the output of our service to the grid. Let's change the title of our field set. Call it search for parts. Save it. Let's now test this by clicking View Mashup. In the mashup for the text box, enter some search criteria and click the search button. This will initiate the workflow and it will query the parts and windshield and return a result set, as you can see within the grid. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.